Hi guys, as you know, we're a few weeks deep into the V8 Supercar E Series. And like in real life, we always want to improve things. So we've improved the pedals, the gear shifter and the computer. And the last weak link was the monitors. And watching Rick get the LG monitors and him improve his time, it was something that I really wanted to look into and see if we could get some of them. So luckily, we reached out to the guys at LG and they've hooked us up with three 55 inch OLED TVs. And normally TVs don't go across to gaming very well, but they've actually been able to produce a product that here that has so many different specs, fast reaction time, all the gear that we'll explain a little bit later when we set it up. So these can actually be used for gaming, home theater, or normal TV. So we'll explain a bit more of the specs of the monitors here, and also about the computer that a lot of you have been asking about. As you can see, we have all set up here. It's fairly impressive, a big improvement on what we had before, but some of the really important specs of these and why we um, are using these for sim racing. When you're playing a game or any sort of simulator type thing and you're moving at quite a fast speed and it's all about your reactions and judging things, you really need a really fast reaction time and a lot of frames per second. So that's how many frames get produced on the screen per second and when you're traveling at 300 kilometers an hour trying to pick a braking mark the more frames you can have and the more accuracy you can have the better and um, we don't want any input blur as well and that's what the reaction time affects so when we turn or do an action with the pedals or the steering wheel we want to see the result of that on the screen as soon as possible and this really matches um, the standard that any top gaming monitor can produce. So with these TVs being OLED, as you can see there, the blacks are extremely black. There's no confusion of color, no blur. So when we're trying to pick out braking markers, we can see them nice and clearly. Yeah, and um, I think it's really gonna help my racing overall. So with having powerful monitors like that, we need a powerful computer. And thanks to Aftershock, we've been hooked up with this amazing bit of kit here. So the specs of it are quite interesting. So we've got a 280 GTX graphics card, one of the best you can sort of buy. We've got 32 gig of RAM, which is <laughs> excessive of what we need, but you can never have enough of that. Uh, 512 gigabyte of SSD storage, so that's plenty for us to use there. And AMD 5360 um, processor, so plenty of grunt there. And luckily, because this runs a Nevada graphics card and these screens have G-Sync, which is incredible for a TV to have those sort of specs, it's normally your top-end gaming monitors, um, we're able to actually sync the two, the computer and the monitor, to get the best um, refresh rate and the most synced. So when we're in a race, it doesn't fluctuate and all that sort of stuff. So with the capability of both the computer and the monitors, we're able to maximize the performance in-game. So as you can see here, there's no motion blur, it's extremely clear and the colors are just amazing compared to the screen that I used to have. And with my old screen, as you used to drive along, the barriers used to build up and as you went because it couldn't refresh fast enough. So this is really a game changer for me and I can't wait to get into Spa this week and um, try and use that to my advantage. Thanks for watching and I better get practicing before this week's race. And as always, thanks to LG and remember, life's good.